Hey, girlies. Jordan has always loved cross-dressing. His sister is extremely supportive, and they bond over their shared interests. The assets and exclusive pictures from this video are available on our Patreon page in the description. Enjoy. Jordan loved wearing his sister Bree's clothes when she wasn't home. The soft silk and smooth lace felt great against his skin and made him feel comfortable and happy every time he wore them. He enjoyed putting on her makeup and trying out her different styles of dresses and skirts as well. It was an escape from reality and allowed him to express himself freely without fear of judgment or ridicule from others around him. The vibrant colours and patterns always brightened his mood and made him feel more confident and at peace with himself when he was wearing them. The feel of wearing women's clothes was like nothing else he had ever experienced before. It was as if he had been transported into another world, where he could truly be himself without any care for what anyone thought of him or his choices in life. And though he knew that these feelings wouldn't last forever once he returned to his everyday life as just another average Joe from down the block, he could live his dream of being someone else entirely, someone who dared to stand out from everyone else and embrace their own unique sense of style and self. Expression without worrying about what anyone else might think or say about them behind their back. Jordan always knew that he was different from most guys his age. He had always struggled with feelings of dysphoria and didn't quite fit into traditional male roles or expectations. Even when he was a young kid playing with toy cars and trucks with his friends on the playground deep down inside. He knew that there was something more to him than just what others saw on the surface level. Something deeper and more profound that could never quite fit within any predefined box or label that society might try to assign him based solely upon his physical appearance or external characteristics alone. Bree noticed her brother's affinity for women's clothes early on and often teased him mercilessly about it, calling him names like Miss Priss or Sissy when she caught him wearing her favourite pink dress while playing dress-up with their little sister Maddie during family gatherings at their grandparents' house every summer vacation since they were kids. But even though Bree could occasionally be quite cruel to her younger brother when she was feeling particularly vindictive towards him, she never truly disapproved of his love for cross-dressing. She just didn't understand it herself and thought that it was something that he would eventually grow out of once he hit puberty and started developing more typical male interests like video games or sports instead of playing dress-up with their younger siblings or going shopping with them at the mall like most girls their age would do instead. But little did she know that despite all of her teasing and taunting over the years... Jordan had actually become quite skilled at hiding his love for cross-dressing from his family members. Only ever indulging it privately while they were all out of town together at their grandparents' house, or while their parents were away on vacation themselves, without ever letting them know just how much he genuinely enjoyed dressing up like one of their female relatives whenever they weren't around to catch him red-handed doing so. And so one fateful evening last week, while their parents were still away on another one of their endless business trips abroad. Jordan decided to sneak into Bree's bedroom once again and try on some of her favourite outfits from her closet one last time before they were finally forced to head back home again soon after. He carefully picked through Bree's extensive collection of designer dresses and skirts, searching for something that would allow him to truly stand out from everyone else around him, when suddenly he heard footsteps approaching from downstairs. Panicking, he quickly threw on one of Bree's more casual outfits, consisting of nothing more than an old pair of ripped blue jeans and an oversized white t-shirt. Before fleeing back down into his own room just as Bree entered through their front door and spotted him trying to sneak past her without being seen. But try as he might, she couldn't help but notice how nervous and guilty he looked as he avoided making eye contact with her as he walked past her, and retreated back into his own bedroom without saying another word. Determined to get to bottom of what exactly was going on with her younger brother, Bree decided to confront him later that night after dinner, demanding that he tell her exactly what kind of kinky fetish he had developed recently for women's clothing, and whether or not he was planning on turning their entire household upside down with his outrageous behaviour. But instead of reacting defensively like most people would do when confronted with such an accusation, 
Jordan calmly explained to his older sister that there was nothing kinky or unusual whatsoever involved with his love for cross-dressing. It was simply something that made him feel comfortable and happy when he did it. Just like how some people might feel when they put on their favourite pair of jeans or sneakers before heading out for a day at work or school. Bree listened attentively as her younger brother continued explaining his feelings towards cross-dressing further. Admitting that ever since he first started experimenting with wearing women's clothes as part of his regular dress code, it had helped him feel more confident and self, assured than ever before when faced with any challenges or obstacles that life might throw his way. He also mentioned how dressing up like one of his female relatives whenever he got bored had allowed him to express his true feelings and emotions more openly and honestly than ever before without having to worry about being judged or ridiculed by others around him for being different from everyone else, or failing to fit into any predefined box or label that society might try to assign him, based solely upon his physical appearance or external characteristics alone. Upon hearing this, Bree felt both relieved and excited at finally understanding what exactly was going on with her younger brother, realising now just how deeply rooted his love for Cross. Dressing truly was within his heart and soul. She decided then and there that she wouldn't stand idly by and allow her younger brother to continue living such an isolated existence any longer. It was time for her to take matters into her own hands and do something truly drastic that would change both their lives forever from that moment forward onwards. Without hesitation, she grabbed onto her brother's hand tightly pulling him back into her bedroom once more so that they could discuss their plan further together. All right, she said softly, leaning closer towards him so that she could whisper directly into his ear. I think I know exactly what we need to do next. Jordan listened intently as his older sister laid out her plan for him, detailing every single step of their journey ahead together from that moment forward onwards. For starters, they would need to make an emergency trip to their local mall together where they could shop for some brand. New outfits and accessories specifically designed to cater towards both their unique fashion tastes and preferences. Next, they would need to find some suitable place where they could both go together to receive professional makeup application services, so that they could ensure that they would look absolutely stunning whenever they stepped out into public dressed as women for everyone else to see. And finally, they would need to spend an entire weekend practicing how to walk confidently and gracefully while wearing high heels, so that they wouldn't have any trouble at all mastering this crucial skill set required of any successful cross-dresser. Jordan felt both nervous and excited at the prospect of going through with Bree's plan, knowing full well just how much his life was going to change forever from that moment forward onwards. But despite these lingering doubts and fears, he ultimately decided to place his trust entirely within his older sister's capable hands. Believing wholeheartedly that she truly did have his best interests at heart whenever she made decisions on his behalf like this one. After all, if there was anyone who could ever possibly understand and relate to his situation, it would definitely have to be her. Considering how similar their personalities and interests were, despite their obvious physical differences and disparities at first glance. And so, without another word of hesitation, they both set off towards their local mall together, eagerly anticipating everything that lay ahead of them during this momentous occasion they were both sharing together as two kindred spirits united under one common cause. Over the next few weeks, Jordan and Bree worked tirelessly together, spending countless hours shopping for designer outfits and accessories at their favourite stores within the mall, perfecting their makeup techniques with professional makeup artists, practicing how to walk confidently and gracefully while wearing high heels, and ultimately learning how to fully embrace their true identities as cross dressers from that moment forward onwards. As time went on, they also began attending various social events and gatherings together, dressed as women and mingling with everyone else around them, without ever feeling self-conscious or out of place amidst all of their peers and acquaintances present there on that fateful day. In fact, they even started attracting quite an impressive fan following along the way, 
with many people complimenting them on how truly stunning and beautiful they looked whenever they stepped out into public dressed as women for everyone else to see. But perhaps, most importantly of all, they had both finally learned how to truly love and accept themselves for who they were, regardless of what anyone else might think or say about them behind their back. Because at its core, this entire experience was never really just about having fun or experimenting with different styles and outfits. It was always meant to serve as an opportunity for both Jordan and Bree to grow closer together as two kindred spirits united under one common cause, teaching them both valuable lessons about self, acceptance and self, worth along the way that would ultimately shape and define every aspect of their lives moving forward from that moment forward onwards. And although there would still be many challenges and obstacles waiting for them ahead, they knew deep down inside that no matter what happened, they would always have one another to rely upon whenever things got tough or uncertain, making this entire journey together well worth every single second spent along the way since they first set out upon this incredible adventure together so many years ago now. In conclusion... While Jordan may have initially started off his journey as just another average Joe from down the block through his love for Cross, dressing and his unwavering support from his older sister Bree, he was ultimately able to evolve and blossom into something far more beautiful and powerful than anyone could ever possibly imagine, proving once and for all that no matter how different or unique we may all seem on the surface level, at our core, we're all truly just one and the same. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.